really go for some Doritos. Whoa! <laughs> Doritos! Awesome! But this isn't a place to eat Doritos. Kitchen! Oh, okay. This is a place to eat Doritos. But I don't have any pants! Pants! Now that I have pants, it'll be so much easier to eat Doritos with public around. Mmm! Oh. This is some great source of APP! What's APP? Oh! Didn't see you there! You don't know what ATP is? I'll come explain it to you right now! A T P Which stands for Denosine triphosphate. But how do we get it? There are three isms metabolism, catabolism, and anabolism. Metabolism is all the chemical reactions, catabolism is breaking down, and anabolism is making new molecules. But still, how do we get ATP? Well that's easy. From carbs, lipids, and proteins. Yay! Now how do you get ATP from carbs? When carbs go through metabolism, it turns food into glucose. Then, mitochondria uses the glucose and turns it into ATP. After that, the ATP is used by the cell for energy. Carb catabolism goes through three parts. The first part is glycolysis, which turns glucose into pyruvate. The TCA or Krebs cycle is when pyruvate is turned into acetyl CoA which is used to make more ATP. Last but not least of carb catabolism is the electron transport chain or you could just say ETC. It's when hydrogen from the glycolysis and the TCA cycle enter the electronic transport chain to make ATP and water, or H2O if you want to be scientific about it. When carbs go through anabolism, they go through gluconeogenesis. That's when they make carbs from non-carb subunits. What about the lipids? Oh, I'll tell you about the lipids. Lipids are made of three, yes, three fatty acids and glycerol. Both the glycerol and the fatty acids are turned into pyruvate, then enter the TCA or Krebs cycle to make more ATP. In lipid anabolism, acetyl CoA makes lipids. Also, proteins, carbs, and lipids can easily be turned into acetyl CoA, which is then stored as fats. And protein? In protein catabolism, amino acids have an amino group and a hydrogen taken away. The leftover carbon chains are then broken down from the TCA cycle to make ATP. There is one problem with protein catabolism. It makes ammonia, which is a toxic, and it's very deadly. <laughs> to cause it from not being deadly, you go through protein anabolism, which then adds nitrogen, which then changes it to not ammonia, and it won't be deadly to you. Also, N is nitrogen symbol, 7 is nitrogen's atomic number, and nitrogen is one of the elements essential to life on Earth. 
Hey, you learn something new every day.